Okay, class. Uh, last time we talked, we mentioned that we're going to talk about these vertices of feasible regions. So I'm going to remember what we're talking about here. Up here on the board, I still have behind me uh, this problem about Victor and his peach trees and apple trees. And so well, let's recap what this looks like. On our graph right now, we have a doubly shaded region that is describing the combinations of apple trees X and peach trees Y that meet these linear inequalities, our constraints. Both trees have to add up to be fewer than or equal to 50 trees. Combinations of trees have to add up to be a cost less than or equal to 1,232. Well, I want to point out those vertices here. The vertices are the corners of your doubly shaded region. So one of those corners right here is on the y-axis. Okay. Another corner is this intersection point. And a third corner of the doubly shaded region is this x-axis x-intercept here. Now, none of this singly shaded region is part of the feasible region, so I don't include those, nor do I include this non-feasible region. So we have three points that make up the corners, as well as 0, 0 that makes up the corner uh, to this feasible region. So we're going to label those right now. Now, thankfully, the way we graph these, we graph using the intercepts. So we already know where this intercept is and where that intercept is. But we do have to be careful we use the correct line or the correct graph here. This doubly shaded region was the one done in blue, which is the one that deals with the second inequality. So this is the y-intercept of the second inequality. Our work is still here, showing that when x was 0, we found out that y was 44. When we had 0 apple trees, we had 44 peach trees. So we're going to go ahead and label that one as 0, 44. That's our first label. Our next label we're going to look at is the one that was done here in black. This is the x-intercept for the first equation. We found that when y was equal to 0 on the first equation, y equal to 0, x was equal to 50. That would represent 0 peach trees and 50 apple trees. So that's our second label to indicate the corners. Now the last label is probably the one that is more challenging to get, especially if our graph is not sketched very well or very accurately. So if I look at this graph right now, I would kind of say, hey, there's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, somewhere over 30, and somewhere above 5, 10, 15, 20. So this combination is somewhere in that 30 to 22 mark. However, estimating off your sketch is probably not the best way to go. So let's take a look now at how we find the intersection point when we have two inequalities as a system. There they are. And in class, we talked about using matrices to solve a system of equations. So let's write this matrix equation. We'll solve that and see if we are, in fact, close to our estimate off the graph. All right? So talking about in class, we talk about matrices. We need the coefficients. The coefficients are the numbers in front of the variables. When we don't see them, like in this x and y, those are known to be 1. So the first step we're going to do is write a matrix that includes our coefficients. It's a two-row by two-column matrix. It has 1, 1, 22, and 28 in it. 1, 1, 22, and 28. When you use matrix multiplication and multiply by the variables, x and y, you, those will be equal to our two constants, 50 and 1,232. Okay, matrix multiplication allows us to set this up and it's equivalent to this system of inequalities. To solve this, we were using our graphing calculators. And I expect that you'll do that too on our next quiz. So to solve this, we're going to take this entry and put that in our matrix A on our calculator. We'll put this as matrix B in our calculator. And what we're going to do is take the inverse of this matrix. That's A and the inverse symbol there, which in your calculator is the x to the negative 1 key. That's how we get that symbol. So A inverse, and we're going to multiply that times B, and that will give us what x and y are. If you want to pause and try that right now, you may do so, but the answers to this end up being that x is going to be 28 and y is going to be 22. So x is 28 and y is 22. Well, that means that this x is supposed to be 28, and y is 22 here, 28 apple trees, and 22 peach trees. Well, 
My graph, as you can tell, the sketch was not as close as we wanted it to be, but it's still relatively close. We were somewhere above 30, 28, that's close to 30, and this 22 does seem to fall in the right region. So our graph was a close estimate, but the better idea here is to actually solve this system of equations to get an actual value for your corner. Once we have the corners, we can then answer questions dealing with optimal profits or minimizing costs or other things like that, which we'll talk about another time.